Hello, and welcome to the Springfield Family Center kitchen. Today, we'll be cooking a nutritious and healthy meal made in your microwave. This sweet and sour chicken recipe is simple, flavorful, and easy to make using just a handful of ingredients. First, let's gather the ingredients and cooking implements you'll need to make this dish. You'll need a knife for chopping, a stirring spoon, two cutting boards, one for vegetables and one for meat, a tablespoon, and a microwave safe dish. For ingredients, you'll need a can of pineapple, apple cider vinegar, ketchup, brown sugar, two to four full chicken breasts, cashews, snap peas, one to two red bell peppers, garlic, and one onion. Once you have all of your supplies together, we can start preparing the dish. First, combine nine tablespoons of ketchup, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and four tablespoons of brown sugar into your microwave safe dish. Then crush and mince two cloves of garlic and dice your onion into small pieces. Combine the garlic and onion into the sauce. Next, de-seed your red bell peppers and chop it into small bite-sized pieces. Combine the red bell pepper into the sauce mixture. Take out your second cutting board and slice your raw chicken breast into small square bite-sized pieces. Try to keep the pieces around the same size so they'll cook evenly in the microwave. Combine the chicken into the sauce mixture and make sure to stir everything together so it's evenly covered. For cooking, start by placing your dish in the microwave and setting it to cook on a high setting for eight minutes. Thank you. 
After eight minutes, check to see if the chicken has started to cook and stir the dish. Microwave for an extra two minutes if the chicken doesn't look like it's starting to cook through. While your dish is in the microwave, chop your snap peas into small bite-sized pieces. Open and drain your can of pineapple chunks. Add the snap peas and pineapple into the dish and mix them thoroughly. Place the dish back in the microwave for an additional five to eight minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked through. and mince a handful of cashews to top the dish. If you have a meat thermometer, make sure the chicken is cooked to 165 degrees. If you do not, you can try and pull apart a piece of chicken from different parts of the dish to make sure there are no raw parts or pink parts left in the chicken. Once the dish is fully cooked through, top it off with your minced cashews and serve up in individual bowls. Thank you for joining the Springfield Family Center Kitchen today. We hope you enjoy making this meal and get to enjoy it with your friends and family. We look forward to seeing you soon for the next simple recipe.